Is your package bluffing is the question that I'll pose. And I'll give you an example of packaging that is clean room compliant and an example of packaging that is not clean room compliant. First, let's examine the packaging that represents uh, clean room compliancy. The first thing I like to illustrate is the anti-counterfeiting tape. This makes it difficult for counterfeit product to be packaged. Then I'd like to illustrate the labeling, where the product is prominently labeled with the description, country of origin, and lot number information. Finally, I like to open up the product, and when we open up the case, we'll see that this product is, first off, the corrugated is five layer corrugated, outer facing, inner facing, inner sheet, two levels of corrugated, so it's very strong construction, but when you open the corrugated carton box, you'll notice that there is a bag liner so that the proper protocol requires that this carton box is opened in a non-critical area. The product is removed from the carton box. The carton box is detrashed, and then this product is taken through the pass-through. When it goes through the pass-through, this bag is opened up, and then the inner bag is taken into the gown room area where this can be loaded up in a dispenser. As you can see, this shoe cover is what we call bulk pack, flat pack. So when we open up this shoe cover, it can be readily put into a dispenser for ease of use. This is a CPE shoe cover. I have another example of a shoe cover. This shoe cover is a polypropylene shoe cover, an anti-skid polypropylene. Notice how this is also flat pack. Flat pack is of paramount importance so that when these are loaded into the dispenser, they can easily be grabbed and the operators can put them on without taking an additional time and resources. So let me illustrate what, what I would consider to be non-clean room compliant packaging. First off, we have just a standard brown carton box. One thing I failed to admit with this carton box is we also have a graphic labeling that this is a Microtech label. So you know it in a moment's glance, the appropriateness of this product for what's type clean room based upon the color coding. You'll see in this carton box, there is no color coding. It's all brown. When we open up the carton box, what I'd like to illustrate is this product is just raw in a carton box. There's no liner. Uh, this is not clean room compatible because the inside of this corrugated is uncoated chipboard and the uncoated chipboard is going to contaminate the product. There's no way to take this product out and then get it into a gown room without causing contamination issues to the garment. I want to illustrate another example of a shoe cover. A common shoe cover that's used in the industry is the anti-skid polypropylene. And as you can see, this product, although it's properly packaged, a bag within a bag, these are rolled up like pigs in a blanket. And this is also, we would consider packaging that's bluffing. This is not clean room compatible, although this is the most common type of shoe cover packaging, because these shoe covers all need to be individually unrolled. It takes a lot of operator time and effort to do this before they can be donned. So just to summarize, when we say, is your package bluffing? The first thing we're talking about is the outside. Are there visual cues to indicate suitability of use? You can see here, this product is designed for Microtech. So at moment's glance, the operators, anyone within the facility knows the appropriateness of the product. Does the product have anti-counterfeiting tape, making it difficult to counterfeit? Is the corrugated line with a polyliner to prevent cross-contamination? And then when you get to the inside of the product, is the product flat packed, vacuum packed in a way to ensure that you can get it from the receiving dock through the pass-through into the gown room in a way without contaminating. Not to be confused with uh, industry-leading product that's just in a plain generic brown carton box with no carton liner. So yes, packaging really does matter. The packaging of the product not only can give a visual indicator to the appropriateness of use, it can also ensure that you can load your product into the gown room without creating contamination. Thank you.